In this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to do an RDL, Romanian deadlift, stiff leg deadlift, whatever it is that you call it or that your trainer or coach calls it. We're gonna be talking that through, okay? So the RDL, Romanian deadlift, this is a hamstring predominant exercise. So we're gonna be using the hamstrings. This is used to strengthen the hamstrings, all right? So we need to make sure we're doing this exercise properly. One, to make sure we're getting the most efficient use and two, to be sure that we're not gonna cause any underlying injuries or lead to anything that would be improper as far as the movement goes. All right, so I'm gonna run through the details of how we should go through a Romanian deadlift. I'm gonna start without using the bar, actually. So we have some weights on this bar that I'll demonstrate with in a second. A few things that we wanna watch for. One, we want relative, relatively stiff legs and straight legs. So we don't wanna have our legs locked out, okay? We wanna have them in a nice active standing position. So when I'm coaching my athletes, I'll tell them just to stand and look forward, stand naturally. Once you're in this position, lock your legs, meaning squeeze your glutes, your quads, and your hamstrings to make sure your legs stay still. From this position, this is our active position. So as I would go down, my legs are gonna stay in that position because I'm holding them stiff, okay? I'm not pressing my legs through. I'm not squeezing and letting my knees drift forward as I go down. This isn't a squat, this is a hip hinge movement, all right? Next thing we wanna focus on when we're doing this, once those legs are in play, we're gonna be focusing on that hip hinge. To do a hip hinge, we have to think about pressing our butt backwards. We're not thinking about leaning forwards. If I lean forwards, the weight's gonna shift onto my toes and I'm gonna fall forward, all right? When that happens and we lean forward, we end up bending our knees. So we wanna make sure that those legs stay stiff. We wanna push the hips straight back. As I push the hips back, I let my arms with the bar fall naturally towards the floor and then I'm right back up. When we're going, we wanna focus on the stretch that we feel in our hamstring, and that's gonna kinda of activate and tell us where we want to feel the movement and squeeze through the movement. So if I'm going down and I'm drifting in, pushing my hips back, I'm gonna feel a little tension through the hamstrings. I wanna squeeze through that tension. So wherever I feel that stretch and that tension, I wanna squeeze that area as I stand up. We're also gonna be squeezing the glutes and pushing through into that upright position. The last thing I wanna talk about before we grab the bar and go, and this is all stuff that we should do without a bar, we should feel this movement first, is our back. We wanna make sure that as we go, we're not dropping our back and hunching over. This isn't a movement where we're going down and then pulling up. I'm sure you've probably seen some people doing that. It's really tough on our lower back. We wanna make sure that we don't have any injury. If we have our legs stiff here, are we at more of a risk of injury than an active position? 100%. If our back is here, instead of being upright, are we at more risk of injury? 100%. So we need to make sure that we do those things correct, that we keep our back flat, our core brace. We're gonna be driving down, hips back, and then we're pulling straight through the movement. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate with the bar. We wanna make sure our hand placement is even on the bar. So I'm gonna reach down, and grab my bar. We're gonna stand up with it. We can have this on a rack to start, however it works best for you. I'm gonna turn slightly to the side for us. From this position, I'm locking those legs in place, keeping the core tight, back brace, pushing the hips back and away. Once I feel that tension in the bottom of the movement, I'm gonna be squeezing through that tension and driving the hips forward. Do a few reps here, so it'll be smooth on the way down, hips back, feel that tension, pull through. Back down, hips back, feel the tension, pull through. All right, with RDLs, they can be difficult to feel tension in your hamstrings. It's normal by doing the exercise to not really feel much activation in the hamstrings. The hamstrings can be one of the more difficult muscles for us to freely activate. Like a, a bicep you can flex and it's pretty easy. A little bit more difficult to do that with the hamstrings. So with exercises like these, it's okay if we don't immediately feel it. One test I like to do is see how you feel the next day. If you do RDLs one day and the next day your hamstrings are really sore, odds are you did it correctly, you just weren't able to activate and fire them off like maybe one day you'll be able to, right? Next thing that we wanna watch for is when I go, can I feel that stretch? If you can feel the stretch and you can squeeze through that stretch, then you're gonna be working that muscle. Even if it doesn't burn all that much, if you can actively think about squeezing and do the touch test, if you can touch and feel some stiffness in your hamstrings, well then you're activating that muscle. They're just a little bit more difficult to feel on a every single rep basis, maybe more difficult than just like a bicep or a quad or something like that. So use RDLs to develop hamstring strength, to develop your overall strength and your body control and hip hinge as well, but make sure that we're doing it right. So follow these steps in this video to make sure that you're hitting your RDLs to the best of your ability. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this or know whenever we post videos, hit that bell and turn your notifications on. Comment below other ideas that you would like to see as an athlete or as a person just trying to get more information on training. I would love to make those videos for you and we'll see you next time. Peace.